Hello, hello, thank you for stopping by. My name is Ruby, this is Ruby Red, and today I have a little reading vlog adventure. So I just dropped Connor off at the airport. They're gonna be on a trip for a couple of days. And um, when I'm home alone, there's really only one possible thing that I can do, and that is have a little readathon just with myself. Um, I did this last year in September. I did a 48 hour readathon with myself and now I'm just gonna do 24 hours. But I'm not just gonna be by myself. I'm gonna be joined by a very special and beloved guest, uh, my friend Emily, who is an old friend from college. We actually lived together for like five years, I think. And she's gonna come down here and spend just a couple days with me and we're gonna do a 24 hour readathon. So, um, we're going to start at 7 p.m. tonight and go until 7 p.m. tomorrow night, 24 hours, reading as much as we can. So I'm going to be doing some cooking before she gets here. Uh, I also just want to eat lunch because I'm really hungry. And um, we did laundry this morning, so I need to put the rest of the laundry away because it's covering the entire bed. Just some like other general housekeeping that I want to take care of before I have a guest. Um, so I kind of have to get going because I also want to try to post my TBR video before she gets here. And I don't know if I can do all of that in the next like two hours, but I'm gonna try. Okay, here we are and we are ready to begin. This is Emily, welcome to the channel. Hello. <laughs> um, thank you for joining us today and tomorrow. Um, we are late, but that's not going to stop us from doing our 24 hours and having fun. So there was a little bit more gossip that needed to be gotten out before we could really like get down to business. But now I think we're like ready to get down to business. So let's just run through our um, selections, our options really quick. Emily, if you'd like to start us off. I would love to. Okay, first I'm going to hold my Kindle <laughs> and say that I have four books on here because, okay, um, Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. Ooh, I, mm -hmm. I didn't look at people's last names, so pardon me. Um, Under the Banner of Heaven, John Krakauer. We're really going for it. <laughs> um, and I believe Ruby has a physical copy, so perhaps if I'm struggling with the, with the Kindle of it all, I may have to go there. Um, and then these two are just kind of easy little palette cleansers because I have two physical books that are not easy. Um, I have Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, because I was like, that's yes. cute. I want to read it. And then I have To Be Honest by Maggie Ann Martin, which is one of my fat books that I want to read. So we'll see. And then my two physicals, I have Middlesex and Circe, which both of which I'm so excited about and wanted to read, but they're so big that I've been intimidated. So yay. Yeah, those are some classics. Oh my God, good picks. I'm excited. Thank you. I'm scared for you. Me too. <laughs> uh, okay. I have this little stack here. I kind of decided um, that I would try to read like only physical books instead of my ebooks just because these have been piling up. I do not read them at the rate in which I bring them in. So I have Our Prisons Obsolete by Angela Davis. Um, a great option. I talked a little bit about this in my TBR video too, that it fits some of my prompts. Love. I have Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. Yes. I have not watched the show, nor have... Oh, wait. No, I did read one other book by her, The Husband's Secret, but um, excited. This one's kind of big, though, so maybe that's, like, not the right move for this. I also have The X-Hex by... Who's this by? Erin Sterling. Um, this is Kayla's book. I'm borrowing it because she loved it. She wants me to read it, and so I'm going to try to read it. Cute. And finally... What is this called? Drive Your <laughs> Plow Over the Bones of the Dead um, by... Olga, no, I hate when people cop out and say, I can't say that correctly, so I'm not saying it at all, but I can't say it correctly, so I will say it correctly later. Um, I do not know what this is about, but uh, this is my friend Sophia's book. I borrowed it from her because I really wanted to read it at one point when I knew what it was about. So that's on here. And I do kind of think, like, technically, legally speaking, I could finish all three of these in 24 hours if I was, like, doing my best the best possible scenario. Um, but I, I, that's, we live in reality actually. So I don't know that that's really gonna happen. But I also have an audiobook just for like filling in the gaps as needed. Um, you know, walking the dog, that kind of thing. And I have weapons of math destruction. Something so 
weird like that. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it's about big data and like uh the end of democracy or something like really oh my god yeah <laughs> incredible uh yeah so i don't remember why that's on my tbr like at all but it's there and it fits in with a, another project that i'm doing that i'm not going to talk about so so there so that's the lay of the land it is now 906 so i think uh we're gonna wrap this up we're gonna crack some books and we're just gonna end uh, at the time that we start. You know what I mean? All right, let's go. Let's go. Carmen, what book are you gonna read? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, good morning. It's 8 a.m. Um, we are almost 11 hours into our readathon and most of what we've done is sleep, but we knew that was the plan the whole time. We were not going to not sleep. Um, last night, I think we read for like three hours, maybe a little bit less. In a little bit, we are going to go get coffee and some breakfast somewhere and read there. Um, change of scenery, kind of a nice, a nice little thing. And um, yeah, right now Emily is on a call. So once her call is over, then we can go get coffee. Um, and... Yeah, so last night I was reading Nine Perfect Strangers and I have nothing to say about it as of yet. I don't feel like I have gotten enough into the story um, to really know what's what. Obviously, it is about nine people, presumably nine, um, at like a uh, wellness retreat. And I also was listening to Weapons of Math Destruction while I... Um, walked the dog and like just got ready for bed and got ready for the day um and that book is actually I think gonna be very interesting it's a data scientist sort of explaining how algorithms are predatory um and that nature is kind of what makes them successful algorithms not just on you know social media but m like uh, algorithms that determine whether or not you can get a loan from a bank for a mortgage or hiring algorithms or um, there was an example of a school district that uses end of year testing metrics to decide which teachers get rehired and how um, that simply doesn't account for enough variables in like the lives of students that could affect performance. Um, and obviously is discriminatory um so yeah she's uh she's got kind of a funny voice like the tone of the book um i wonder if it's read by the author but <clears throat> anyway that is interesting and i am excited to be more afraid of big data i love uh weird data science so anyway i'm gonna go read until i'm listening with her call Okay, we are about to head um, back to the house. We've just been reading by the bay with Kayla and we're actually all gonna go back to the apartment and continue reading together because we actually, I think, read a lot, um, which is shocking to me, but a delight. Um, I was reading Nine Perfect Strangers and I'm honestly, I was cracking up like the whole time. It's so funny. And I am having the time of my life at the end of the day. So, uh, it stinks that, like, I picked such a big book for this. Like, I probably won't finish it, so that won't, like, feel that accomplished or whatever. But it's... I'm having so much fun. And I'm having a similar experience where I'm loving this. I'm reading Cersei. I love it. Um, I'm not laughing. It's not very funny, but it doesn't need to be. Um, I'm adventuring and I'm vibing. However, I am, like... Though I could finish this, and maybe I will, it seems unlikely. So, that's okay, though. I'm yeah. still... I'm having a great time. Yeah, we're just here to have a good time. And we're having not, fun you know it's not this is not about goals this is just about the journey yes i love the so, journey gotta go home take care of the dog maybe have a drink of water I'm yeah so thirsty <laughs> i could use a drink of water <laughs>
Um, good evening, good afternoon. Um, we are still reading. I'm reading. I'm reading. Um, I did have a, a spiked, um, sparkling iced tea that did get me kind of twisted. Um, so that made it hard for me to focus on reading my, um, prison abolition book. So I'm reading my, what is this, a thriller? I don't even know. Again. Um, and we had some snacks and we have four hours left of our readathon. So I'm kind of sad, honestly. It seemed really short, but the gang's all here. The gang's all here. I'm not even holding my book. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's just occurring to me that I have not once said anything about what this book actually is about. Um, and maybe you don't know what it's about. Um, I barely do. But at this point, I'm like 200 pages in, so I kind of do. Um, it tells the story of nine perfect strangers who are all forced together into... It's a forced proximity situation. Um, they're taking... It's a wellness retreat that these nine people are attending. Um, and it is... A little bit extreme or like alternative and I still like I, I can't say I can't say much else but it is like a multi POV situation um, kind of learning about like why all these people are at this wellness retreat and what they want to get out of it and uh, I'm sure something absolutely bananas is gonna happen but uh, things are being revealed very slowly and the way that the perspective has been arranged is very interesting. Not even interesting, it's just effective and easy to read um, because the we started with primarily one perspective and then the other perspectives were added in very slowly which I found to be very easy to like keep track of everyone because I felt like I really got to understand who the characters were before more characters got brought in you know? So I think that that's important and that is maybe something that some multi-POV stories are missing. Um, and yeah, it's making me want to go on a retreat really bad. And I'm sure that like something will happen where I will be like, ah, yes, this retreat is bad in some way. But so far I'm just like, I want to do this. So cross your fingers for me, I guess. And um, Emily is like, two-thirds of the way done with Cersei, but I feel like you guys know what Cersei is about. It's about Cersei. So, okay, that's that. Got a dash. Who's the best at reading? Who's reading. the best at reading? <gasps> oh, oh my man. god. Okay, um, we did it. We made it to the 24 hours of our readathon. Yay. And um, honestly, I had a great time. I also had a great time, if I may. You may. Thank you. I'm just like, I, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't actually know realistically how much I would read um, or how I would feel about it, but I feel great about it. And I read 393 pages. I am so stoked for you. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I, I, yeah, I didn't know what to expect. And Emily read 269 pages. Yes, 269 pages of Circe. I loved it. I similarly did not know what to expect. I feel like I've learned a lot. I feel like I have a lot of plans that I will take forward, plans and lessons that I'll take forward to the next readathon. Mm -hmm. But I had a great time, and I'm so excited to finish Circe eventually. Yes. Soon, even. You're so close. <laughs> and I've reached a really intense point in my book as well, so I'm honestly, like, excited to keep reading it. We're low-key probably going to keep reading right now. <laughs> yeah. And um, if you want to find out how Kayla did, because, uh, surprise, Kayla was here today, um, you're going to have to watch her vlog, because I'm not telling. Surprise. And, um, yeah, I think there's more of these in my future. What a hoot. What a hoot. What a hoot. Okay, um, thank you and good night.